I'm on part two of my Magneto uh, body repair video. Uh, I've shown you my last video where I repaired the actual main body of the Magneto, the corrosion on this face. If you see part one, you'll you'll see me do that. Uh, and on this part, I'm just going to quickly run through uh, the part the part that the points fit in. If you can see now, what what's happened to this? It's it's actually been damaged on one of the, on one of these holes here, on one of the fixing holes. And I'm I'm proposing to, as I did in my last video with the with the body, use this Q bond to repair that. And I thought I'd just quickly show you how I'm gonna how I'm gonna do it. And I've had a study at it, and what I think I'm gonna do is. Because this damage is on uh, is on the side of this hole, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a countersunk screw in like that with a nut on, just hold it in position, and when that countersunk screw is tightened up. It'll obviously then give me the shape I need to repair that hole. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the cube on powder and build build this section up round here till it's full. And then I'm going to take the, the nut off and hopefully then this screw, the cube bundle have made a thread, a uh, sort of thread in, on, the, on the inside. This screw should then screw out. And then I can reshape the cue bond round that area there, reshape it back to, to shape it casting. So that's what that's what I'm proposing to do. So I'll update you on this when I've uh, when I've degreased the the part I'm doing and set up for my cue bond. Here we are. Then uh, I've degreased the the points cast in and I'll just take I'll just quickly show you how I'm going to apply this Q bond uh, I've put a sheet of paper down to catch the excess powder if I spill it I've got me my adhesive ready there now what you have to do you just have to sprinkle a bit of this powder onto the damage onto the damaged area and do it in layers so I've put a layer of powder on and now you just put some of this adhesive on sorry about that, my, my nozzle on my adhesive were blocked up, I had to just stick a pin in it I must have not cleaned it out last time properly so you just dab, dab a bit of this adhesive on if you can see that just one blob oh you don't want to come out just a second right here we are again I'm just having a bit of bad luck with me uh, with me adhesive coming out the nozzle so there you go look you just put a dab on it soaks straight into that powder and it'll set within 10 seconds and then what you do you just uh, just wait for that to set for a while, for a few seconds, and then uh, you put a bit more powder on. Right, I know I've spilt a bit there, but I'll I'll scrape that up on this paper and put it back when I've when I've finished. A bit more powder and a bit more cube bond, like that. You can see it spreads instantly around that powder and then just to wait a few seconds for that to go off and then I can just see on this corner where I've not quite built it up enough I'll just put a dab more on there look
like that. Bit more adhesive. Just one blob will do. And I think, you, can you see how it's built that corner up? So what I'll do now, I'll just let this harden off and then I'll uh, I'll shape re take the screw out and reshape that and show you and show you where I've got to with it. Uh, right, I've, I've I've reshaped the the cube on which I put on. It didn't take me long to do that, two or three minutes perhaps. What I use is a, a very smooth file to get the to get the. Uh, well, to, to rough it out, then I use a, a few grades of different emery cloth and I've just like shaped around that area that were damaged to bring it back in line with casting if you can see that. And then I lightly went over it with a fine wire brush and instead of it looking like a, a completely different colour, it's like blended it back in now a bit with aluminium. So I'll just take this screw out and we'll see what sort of job it's made at countersunk and I can I could just go over that with a little countersink drill bit. Now I'll have to screw this out because it will have left left a thread inside and I don't really want a thread inside so what I will have to do is just run appropriate size drill down it just to clear that thread out which it will have left yet yeah, screwing out right nearly there so that's it I put a 2BA screw in and as you can see, all that corner will broke off if, if you if you wind back and have a look. And now it's made a a nice repair to that corner, and it's brought that countersunk area back into back into where it should be. And I think, be, being as this magneto is six, over sixty year old, and it's already got. Uh, areas of patina if you like I think it's it's blended in pretty good that so what I'll do now I'll just I'll just lightly go over that with a countersink drill bit take that thread out that it's put in that side because this this inter threaded hole it's a, it's just a straight through hole and uh, I'm happy with that. So I just thought I'd share that with you because it's the first time I've used Q-Bond <clears throat> and I explained in my last video I was thinking having it T-welded and I was thinking of having it Lumi welded with my Lumi weld kit but I don't know if you've ever used Lumi weld you've got to get the casting right up to not far off the melting point of aluminium for that to for that to work and I didn't want to have to do that so that Q bond has has done a, a nice job first time I've used it yeah so for a quick repair that's that's a, a bit of good kit if you if you've if you've not gotten on okay thanks for watching catch you on my next video on my progression with magneto build up